Salute to Gun Freak Nation. This is your president, T. Electric. And um, I want to talk about the ordeal that I went through. A lot of, a lot of, um, I haven't addressed this incident, um, but I was involved in a home invasion. I don't like to say victim, you know, because we in Gun Freak Nation, we are fighters. We fight back. But unfortunately, at that time, what was it, 2003, 2000, I believe it was like 2003, maybe 2004, I didn't own a gun. And it kind of, going through the home invasion, it, it, it just affected me, affected me. And I guess that's why I do what I do now, you know, but let me, let me take you back to that day when it happened to me. I happened to be, you know, at home. Um, I remember like my brother was over and by, by the way, at that time, my brother Tony, he, he's a, uh, he was a bodybuilder, man. I mean, he, I mean, he was like a good, what shit, like 300 pounds of muscle. You know what I'm saying? He was a bodybuilder. I mean, he was winning awards, trophies. So he was a bodybuilder. My brother was there. Um, to make a long story short, that particular day, man, it, it was an average day. I'm chilling with my bro. I'm in the living room. We're in the living room, chopping it up. I go to the... Um, I go to the front door to check things out. You know, I, I, for whatever reason, it was some commotion. And I went to the front door to, to see what was going on. I'm like, that's the police. That's the police. What the hell going on out here, you know? So, and, and by the way, how the house was made, the living room, it had like a little foyer that didn't have carpet. It was like tile. When you step out the foyer, you got, the, you got your carpet. You know what I'm saying? My brother, the one that had laid the towel. I done had my motherfucking shoes on. You're going to see how that play a role in it. So, I'm looking like, what the hell is going on? Like, commotion. I'm standing at the door. A dude runs out of my driveway. Out of the driveway. We got the, we got the door. Front porch. Steps. Driveway. He's coming from my backyard, running out of the driveway. Turns around, looks at me, and begins to run up the steps to get to the porch. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm standing in the doorway. He coming up, and he's trying to uh, run up in there, and I'm pushing him. I'm pushing him. He's pushing me, big cocky dude, too. He's pushing me. I push him back. And, you know, I can't get traction because I don't have my damn shoes on. And I'm on that goddamn slippery ass towel. So he pushes me, get the best of me. And I grab him. He tries to go to, into like the living room area. My brother Tony got up off the couch like, what the fuck is going on? Grabs his ass. Picks him up and body slams his ass. And like, boom! Right in the side of the head. Then I got in and I kicked this motherfucking ass and I, I clocked his ass one. I said, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, ah, come on, man, let me in, let me in. Let me in and all that, man, on the floor. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I went. Back to the um, back to the front door, thinking it was more of a mate possibly come, and I see the police. I see like two police cars, police out, you know, walking the sidewalks like they're looking for somebody, right? 
So I said, hey, officer, officer. Just like that, they turn around, I get their attention. They ran from over across the street. The police was across the street. I said, officer, here, he over here. Two of them ran from across the street, ran in the house, the police, and they saw him, and they clocked his ass again. First thing the cop did was clocked his ass on the side of the head, threw him up against my um front closet door, and handcuffed this motherfucking ass and let him out. And I remember I went out uh, on the front porch, and that's the first time that I ever saw uh, a, a, a HK MP5 in person. One of the cops had on a mask, and he had an HK MP5 in his hand. That's the first time I said, God damn, one day I'm going to have me one of them motherfuckers. And I ended up getting blessed with it. But come to find out, man, it was a, um, what had happened was it was a drug house, a crack house, right across the alley, not directly in back of my house, but, you know, because I had a field. I had my backyard and directly across the street, uh, across the alley from my backyard was a, a, a empty field and the house next to it was a dope house, come to find out. And they had got busted. They got raided by the police. And they scattered. When the police raided that, that dope house, that crack house, they scattered like cockroaches. And one of them tried to come up into my crib and shit, man. So it ain't. It wasn't a, a regular home invasion, like a motherfucker just coming up in there to, to rape your woman or, you know, steal your belongings. It, it was just a motherfucker trying to, it was a savage trying to uh, escape from the police, man. And he chose the wrong house to, uh, to run up into, man, you know, because he got his ass beat. You hear me? He got his ass straight whooped. And if I would have had my shoes on, he would have never got in. But I didn't have no traction, and you know I, I was barefoot. You know, and you try some shit in, 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 on some tile, and, and, and you barefoot, man. And, and he, he just he just bogarted his right hand. But me and my brother, we put an ass whipping on his ass. You did, and he still went to jail. And you know, just for that minute though, man, it, it, it's like it, it, it set in my mind. I'm like, damn, man, what if this dude would have had a gun? You know what I'm saying? What if he would have had a gun? I didn't have a gun at the time. So I'm telling y'all this story for a reason, man. I know what it feels like to be in a situation where somebody getting the best of you. You know, somebody just entering into your house. Like when I was struggling with him, you know, and he just pushed his way in because I lost my, my, my grip because I didn't have no shoes on, man. That shit, if I felt helpless. You know what I'm saying? And I was going to beat his ass regardless. If he didn't have no gun, it was just going to be a fist fight. One of us, hey, it was going it, 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 it to be on. But my brother was there and big cocky, muscle bomb, man. He just picked my mans up. He picked the fucking savage up and just slammed him. And we commenced to beat, beat his motherfucking ass. Now, I'll never ever again get caught slipping. I just want to say to you non-believers out there, for the folks out there that's that still believe in, for whatever reason, that you shouldn't have a gun because they equate having a gun um, to evil or, you know, they're they going off of what these liberals saying, 90% uh, of People who have guns in their house, an accident can happen and they they usually commit suicide or they accidentally kill somebody. Fuck all that, man. That that that's not true. That's that's not real. That's shit that they don't conjure it up to try to scare people into getting guns for whatever reason, because at the end of the day, they want to control us. I'm talking to you, that person that's out there that's on the fence about getting one. Do you really want to be in a situation where somebody breaking into your house? And by the way, when that incident happened, it was like 2 p.m. in the afternoon. You know what I'm saying? So it don't really matter. It ain't got to be at nighttime. Okay? 
No, what I'm trying to say to you is, if you're a parent, especially if you're a parent, I'm talking to you women too, but if you are a man and you got a family and someone breaks into your house and pull a home invasion on you and you have little children, you have kids, you have your wife, don't you want to be able to be a man and protect them? Just, just think for a minute. Think for, think for a minute, like, what if it happened to you and you don't have a gun to defend your family, to defend your life? Just think about it, man. Think about your kids looking at you like, are you going to be able to protect us? How can you protect them? How can you protect your family and you got a gun to your head? How can you protect them? How can you protect them if they want to molest your kids? If they want to rape your daughter? If they want to rape your wife? Can you imagine that if you do survive that, that how they're going to view you, how they're going to look at you? Like, wow, you couldn't even protect us. Your wife, you allowed me to be sexually assaulted. You allowed me to be raped. You allowed your kids to be manhandled. Can you imagine how they would look at you? Can you imagine yourself how you would feel because you didn't think it was important enough to go out and buy some type of firearm to be able to defend your family? You got to think about this, man. I mean, the magnitude is just for you not to go out and get some type of means of protection. And when I say means of protection, I'm talking about a firearm. For you not to do that and something do happen, don't ever want to put, you don't never want to put your life or your family's life in the hands of the police, in the hands of the 911 operator. Because, you know, when, when, when somebody pulling a home invasion on you, when these savages out here pulling a home invasion, seconds matter. Police be there in minutes. In some cases, it could be hours. So, I say this to you. It's your sole um, purpose in life, number one, man, to, to be a provider. But not only to be a provider to your family, but be a protector. Be a protector. And for the women that's out there that's, that's, that's living by themselves, you already know what time it is. You already know. They, you, 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 you women, y'all already viewed as soft targets, especially if you don't have a gun. And I'm not about to sugarcoat anything. More than likely, you will be raped. They're going to have fun raping you gang raping you they're going to make you do awful things to them probably even make you fix them something to eat after they're done with you and they're probably you know these savages they don't like to leave witnesses so they'll probably strangle you to death i'm just i'm i'm my point is not to scare you, but you need to know that you're living in a world with evil, demonic people that have no respect for human life. They will kill you at the drop of a dime and they wouldn't worry about it. No, no, these people are psychopaths. It's the way their brains is wired. A lot of them are hopped up, addicted to drugs, and they hopped up on drugs. That's another thing. Don't think, you know, I hear a lot of people was like saying, hey, get you a shotgun, a pump. They, they, hear, they hear you rack it. They're going to automatically run. Would you bet your life on that? Would you bet your life on that? 
that they're going to run because they hear you racking that shotgun. No. If anything, if you rack that motherfucker, you better use that motherfucker. Don't rack it just to scare somebody because if anything, if anything, you giving off your location from the sound of it. And they might just be, we ain't talking about the most brightest, smartest people. Because number one, they're making a, 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 a bad choice, a bad decision, breaking in your house in the first place. And number two, they probably hopped up on so on, on, on high off of drugs that they don't give a fuck. They trying to steal your your property to sell it to get more drugs. And they will take your life. They will take your life. So don't never give them the benefit of the doubt. Oh, let's, you know, they hear that sound or whatever. Hey, don't take that chance. Don't bet on your life like that. Please don't. And, and you single women, please, I beg you to my sisters, arm up, buy you a gun. Buy you a gun. I, I got the best message, the best comment. Somebody told me, a woman told me that last video I did, the um, Get Armed or Die video, that she went out and bought her a canic rifle, went and bought her a gun. And I told her that made my day. Matter of fact, sister, that made my year. Because I want y'all to be able to defend yourself. Be able to defend your kids, your children. You know. But that comes with the territory of being a responsible parent. Or just being, you know, a responsible person, man. Um, don't put your life. Don't let that be the responsibility of the police. Because like I said, you never know. Always expect the unexpected. Try not to let anything surprise you. Because stuff could happen at the, the snap of a finger. Somebody can be in and on you. Get you alarms. Get you cameras. But most importantly, besides that, get you a gun. And be proficient with it. Learn that gun. Be proficient with it. Get to the range. Practice shooting that gun. Because these savages, the world is it, it, it's, it's getting crazier by the day. Okay? Gunfree Nation. We over 12,000 strong. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all keep doing the right thing. Stay righteous. Stay armed. And stay ready to send a savage to Funky Town. I love y'all. Salute.